Hello, welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas day one. I will be attempting to do a version of Vlogmas this year where I'll be posting twice a week instead of once, which is about as best I can do with <laughs> working a full time job. So we'll see. And there will be a giveaway later in the series, so stay tuned. But, anyways, without further ado, this week's video is me walking in a fashion show. <laughs> so I am six foot one quite tall and I've always been tall so when I was young like 15 I was recruited scouted that's the word by modeling agencies and I did try I did kind of like a setup shoot oh actually I'll show you pictures <laughs> this was me at 15 even at 15 I was almost too tall this was like 10 years ago so the industry back then may have changed but I was like borderline too tall for what they wanted as well as they asked me to lose weight off of my hips no no i was 15 there wasn't much body fat on me that was my bone structure i'm very lucky i had the kind of common sense and good support system to sort of be like hey nah that's not gonna happen and i guess since then have been asked to occasionally like take part in photo shoots for people and i've done bits and bobs but never like catwalks or like pursued it really this is my first proper catwalk i guess i think so yeah we'd been rehearsing for this since i guess september we went every week on a saturday for about two hours to practice won't lie practices were kind of useless it all changed every week anyways and in the nicest way wasn't super professional and it was the sort of thing where if i'm standing in a room full of a variety of girls aged 15 to 30 and you're yelling at 15 year olds I don't love it I, I don't I don't vibe with that I'm gonna be really honest throughout this video about my whole experience yeah I don't like seeing 15 year olds yelled at and also like the whole kind of being conscious of your weight and they kind of said it quite carefully but I'm still hmm I don't know it wasn't for me in that respect but yeah we rehearsed Keenan came with me so Keenan did it too so that was fun but we rehearsed and then on the day before the show there was a last rehearsal run through and trying on the dresses that was fun so i'll put this i'll put the footage of the rehearsal day there oh gosh <laughs> jump scare um good morning it is the day before the fashion show so i want my hair to be super clean for tomorrow so today i'm just gonna put like a hair mask in all day and sort of slick it back shower get ready me and my mum are gonna go and do my nails i think it's a bridal show so i don't think that black nails is gonna cut it also if they need to be redone anyways i did get some contact lenses yesterday because apparently being blind on a runway in very high heels and wearing glasses with cameras flashing doesn't work so i need to go and get well i need to put those in today and kind of get used to it we have the rehearsal later today, which is our first time seeing the venue, and I think we're going to get to see the designers as well. So here is fashion show, and everything that's going to come with it. Come along. getting my nails done these are probably one of my favorite yet they look i usually go for kind of funky either styles or colors and these just look like polished like a manicured you know so it's just kind of very neutral with like a little bitty sparkle on the top can't really see but those are the nails perfect for a bridal show i guess and now i've got a bit of time to kill before i have to meet keenan and head to the rehearsal so I don't know what I'll do. Probably just relax, watch some TV, and yeah, I gotta meet him. And then this rehearsal is at four, I believe. And we'll go from there. I love these. I'm so excited. <laughs> Final rehearsal. 
God knows what I actually was able to film today. Um, there are, there was a lot going on. Um, but yeah, I'm, it's late, it's so late. I'm home now. I washed all that grease and hairspray out of my hair. So hopefully this all dries by the morning. <sighs> I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Um, yeah bedtime i'll see you in the morning tomorrow is show day let's get it that was the rehearsal we got to meet the designers i got to go with a designer for the segment from new york his name was bessie basana i'll i'll link all the designers and like photographers and everything that i use in this video below but yeah his name is bessie he was so fun he was awesome tried on the dress that i was gonna be wearing feeling good. Went home, got our model bags ready. Models bags uh, is actually very useful tips. It's like different colour underwear and like nipple pasties and all the razors and that sort of stuff. And then the day of the show. So the day of we had to be there at 10. I don't think we left until well after 10 in the evening so it was a long day. I was absolutely exhausted but we got there. We checked in, we got a little badge that says model, and on the back it says, love yourself. That was cute. It was a bridal show, I don't know if I mentioned that. It was a bridal show, so that was cool. And the whole reason I got into this was because one of my friends, <laughs> who I actually work with at my 9 to 5 job, was like, hey, you're tall, and she's done this for years, so she's well experienced and very good at what she's doing. <laughs> she was like, hey, you're tall, do you want to come join? And I was like, okay, but I was supposed to hang out with Keenan that day, can he come? And we did. So that was how we got into that. <laughs> what else? There was something else I was going to say. Oh yeah, I've only really been on like acting sets and I will say it was noticeable how different actors are treated on set versus models. And this could have been just like a one-off experience but actors are treated so much better on set than models. Models you are very much a disposable commodity. Whereas I think maybe, again might be just my experience, there was not as much respect at all towards the models versus with acting it's like you were picked and hired to do a specific job and we will we will respect you for that <laughs> that was a definitely an interesting observation yeah so the day of we got there at 10 we basically hair and makeup all day one last run through of the show and we ended up taking some photos backstage when everyone got into their costume or their outfit and then walked to the show and there was a little after party afterwards where people took some more photos and we got to hang out and mingle with the people who'd been in the crowd and it was lovely and I'll show that here. It is show day. We got in so late and I'm so tired and I don't think Keenan's feeling great either because we got in so late. So we're on our way. How's your day? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. 
gas <laughs> that was a very interesting experience i haven't done like a runway in a while and there were a lot of there was just a lot going on just so much going on and at one point i got a little bit a little bit overwhelmed there were so many people telling me to do so many different things and i was like so but honestly like all the girls there were so lovely and it was just like a really nice supportive environment from the other models and i really enjoyed it and keenan actually ended up doing two whole walk segments and I did one um I was a bit stressed the dress really did not fit me and if there are pictures which I put in there you can kind of see it just like it's it falling it's fallen down the body body is not long enough for my body so I was a little bit stressed about that and but I think it went well it was kind of fun <laughs> overall would do again I guess but yeah done now heading home I need to sleep so bad. Actually, I need food. I really need food. <laughs> Hello, team. I'm home. I've washed my face like six times and I cannot get the eye makeup off. The woman like complimented my eyelashes. She was like, oh, your eyes, your eyelashes are so thick. And I was like, yes, they hold so much makeup and keep it there. They secret it away. So hopefully this comes off today but just got home i need to sort my life out clean my room change all the sheets do the regular sunday reset keenan did, did get me his uh, final cut pro on my laptop so i'm gonna post last week's video and then start editing this one um and i'm just waiting for some footage and pictures from yesterday so I can put it in here and then this will be up. I hope you enjoyed this was something a bit different for me I don't usually do something like this. Keenan actually really enjoyed it and I think he'd like to do that again so I might try and get him set up with an agency if possible <laughs> but yeah that was a fashion show with me. So yeah that was the show and some of the photos that were taken. Honest review I would do it again if I just went to like the rest of the hustle the day before and the day of that's fine by me that was fun all of the models were so lovely it was so nice to it was such a nice way to like make friends and just meet girls and like just chat and it was just such a nice very supportive vibe which i don't know if i was necessarily anticipating or if that would have been like the normal but it was great and then i will say <laughs> the creative direction and direct direction in general was not great it was quite unprofessional and that's not just me saying that that was other models who do this they were also sort of attesting to that being a bit of a, a bit of a gong show the designers were awesome the makeup artists were so lovely confidence levels <laughs> all of the girls looked so stunning as you saw probably in the background of some of those pictures and videos but wow they looked so good my dress didn't fit and I didn't feel very cute, which honestly I admire models so much because they are put under that 
like those situations they don't necessarily feel cute they're not necessarily supported and they walk out there and rock it they look so good that i was really like but i don't feel pretty and i didn't feel confident at all my dress kept falling down the designer had to like sew it three times to try and get it to fit to my waist and it would still kind of slip on the chest so one of the girls bless her <laughs> had double sided tape and she just like taped it to my chest and then we just hoped for the best because it was a uh it was a beaded beautiful hand embroidered like beaded dress all the way down <laughs> so i wasn't feeling cute and also i like a, a bit of that comparison thing like all the girls have really soft sparkly beautiful makeup and mine was like really dramatic and i don't know if it's because i'm quite pale or what but it was like again also stage makeup with film it's very much like corrective whereas with stage it's a bit harsh lights so it was like stripe of cheek like contour and blush and like really dramatic eyes where i felt like i looked like a 15 year old who didn't know what suited her face <laughs> but it did look good in the pictures so they knew what they were doing they did really well that was what they were told to do but yeah it was really hard to feel confident as like my dress was falling down and like everyone else i thought looked way more beautiful <laughs> i would do it again why not i think they do different themes every year Although honestly, if anyone saw me reviewing this and saying that the direction was bad, um, probably won't be invited back, but I will. I'll be honest. I think it was just a respect thing. Like, there wasn't very much respect for the people who were actually helping put it together. Don't yell at 15 year olds, okay? It's not, don't, it's just not. No, I simply could not. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. I think with the Vlogmas format that I'm kind of planning out, There'll probably be shorter videos, more the 10 to 15 mark. I'm usually the 20 to 30, but there'll probably be a few little and often. It'll be fine. I have some video ideas planned. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, there will be the giveaway coming up. Stay tuned. And yeah, I'll have linked all the photographers and the designer below. The fun stuff, you know, the, the likes, the comments, the subscribes if you are so inclined. And yeah, my Instagram is also linked below if you want to go and just Make a peek over there usually it's a little bit more up to date than this this takes me a little bit of time to upload and get get going so thank you so much for watching i will see you in a couple of days time for vlogmas episode two all right love you